this study, we're going to be looking at the stockades. It's a trapping position from side control where you overhook your opponent's near arm and then roll them up onto their side to cut their armpit or ideally the elbow of their forearm. You then have opened up both your opponent's elbows, giving you control of the inside space on their body and a dominant position. Once the control is established, your arm which is running behind the back of the opponent's head can also be replaced with your leg, which then opens up additional attacking opportunities. In professional wrestling, this was known as the sugar hold and was commonly used by Greco-Roman Olympic wrestler Bob Roop, who famously had a $1,000 challenge for anyone who could escape it. And footage also exists of the legendary Stu Hart demonstrating this on aspiring professional wrestlers. With this link to professional wrestling, it's a move more commonly associated with catch wrestling, where the stockades goes by other names such as the stocks, half stocks, rack, pirate's crucifix, or more simply a reverse half Nelson. And while it's a dominant position to secure in submission grappling, due to the hand traps it puts in place, it becomes devastating if used in mixed martial arts, as punches can be thrown at the opponent while they are unable to use their hands to block any of them. A couple of famous examples exist of its use in MMA, like Brock Lesnar in his win over Frank Mir, and most recently Joe Lozon used it to secure a TKO stoppage victory. Here are a few of the options available in submission grappling. We can see here Jake Shannon demonstrating the neck crank when the hands put in place. And here John Potenza and Joel Bain are demonstrating how you can replace the hand with the leg. And here's an old video of me demonstrating the neck crank with the leg replaced and a couple of figure four options available on the near arm and also finishing off with an armbar. And here Brandon McCagrin demonstrates how you can transition to a reverse triangle choke from the same position. I have also seen a few other submission options demonstrated from this position. For instance, a transition into a dust choke. And here we can see a transition into a knee bar from the stockades position. But let's look at how it's used in competition. Here we see Jeff Monson competing in a feeler grappling tournament. He moves into the stockades position and starts cranking the neck before replacing the hand with his leg to finish with the neck crank. And here we can see Josh Barnett using the stockades position in a catch wrestling match against Lewis Ojeda. You can see him cranking on the neck while reinforcing the separation of the opponent's forearm with a frame before locking up a cradle. With the cradle locked up, Josh continues to ride, crank and compress his opponent, making things very uncomfortable for him. And as their forearm begins to drift away from their body, Josh switches back to the stockades with the cradle neck crank. But now let's look at its use in mixed martial arts and as a ground striking technique. Here Stefan Kesting is demonstrating how Brock Lesnar used it in his match with Frank Mir. This is the most high profile fight where the technique was used and Brock actually managed to set it up from half guard before throwing a lot of damaging strikes. The earliest example I could find of its use was back at UFC 22 by Ron Waterman who used it repeatedly from side control to set up ground and pound. And most recently, Joe Lazon secured the stockades with full back control and used it to secure a TKO victory over Jonathan Pierce. Now the most common problem you run into when trying to secure this technique is that a good grappler is going to be vigilantly defending the space between their elbows and their body and will make it especially difficult to separate the forearm from their body. And while strikes can open this up, it can still remain a challenge. Here we can see Eric Paulson transitioning into the stockades off an Americana attack which forces the opponent to open the elbow and if we look at how Brock Lesnar set it up it was something similar where he focused on wrist control of Frank Mir. Now gaining that wrist control on the opponent could be just as effective and easier to achieve in mixed martial arts so here we can see Kana Asakura using it to deliver strikes from mount but most intriguing for high level grappling is where Gordon Ryan used it in his 2019 ADCC match against Lachlan Giles to help open up the elbow and gain control of the inside space for an underhook. 
And once that inside space is controlled and the elbow opened up, a few other higher percentage finishing options do become available to the attacker, which should be kept in mind. But if you do manage to secure the full stockades, then it does become one of the most devastating ground striking positions you could hope to achieve. And that concludes this positional study on the stockades. If you found this video educational, please like it and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more like this, subscribe to the channel. If you have any other examples of it being used in competition, please leave it in the comments down below. And also subscribe to my mailing list at sunnybrown.net. Thank you.